What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Soon we be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 again. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Going over the full cast since it has been revealed. It was revealed last weekend or last week I believe uh, during that press release that came out last week. Yeah. So we know Sidney Craven is in it playing the character of Lane. We know Imran Adams is in it playing the character of Chase. We know Gabriel Gabriel Freilich is in it playing a character named Sam. He was on IMDb for the longest and now it's been confirmed basically with this press release. Peter Brook is in it again. That's also been something I told you guys. He's playing a character, of course, by the name of Stu apparently. Again, that could be a name that changes when we actually see the film because I know a lot of you, myself included, still have some type of idea that this might be a Taggart sibling or somebody else related to the Taggarts or somehow connected to someone from the previous entries. We have Dee Wallace and Gary Graham. They should be playing a married couple named Ron and Marie. And then we also now have Ocean Navarro. We have Matt Barkley, who I've talked about previously. Alexander Housel, who I talked about with Matt Barkley in that video I made discussing those two being a part of the project. We also have Jody McMullen, Georgia Goodman, Jaru Benjamin, who again, I've talked about, he's the one replacing Jonathan Breck as the Creeper. And then we have a Sophie Walker. Now, out of all of these cast names, the ones that we know will be having some type of connection as it relates to being trapped in the House of Pain anyway together should be the characters of Lane, Chase, Stu, and Ocean Navarro because we see Ocean Navarro getting attacked by what I would imagine was the Creeper's wing at the end of that teaser that we got. Um, as far as like how they're all connected and how they become interacted with each other, that's what I kind of just wanted to speculate on really quick here in this video. I think I've touched on this slightly in the past where somehow or another after Chase proposes to Lane and we know of course it'll get botched because the creeper ends up taking her after that happens there's something that I would imagine that either is going to draw them all in or they were already there together to begin with maybe they're all from the same place and they traveled here for this horror hound festival we know that Lane is not the one that wanted to come here. It's her boyfriend, Chase, since he's a horror nerd and he dragged his girlfriend along with him. And he, I guess, planned to propose to her, as we saw in the behind the scenes footage that has come out about this film. So we know that those two have a connection as being boyfriend and girlfriend. How the characters played by Ocean Navarro and everyone else get into the mix, I don't know. I'm also very curious to see how Peter Brook gets involved with these younger individuals since i would imagine he's the he's the oldest out of this group of characters he just has the way the character is looking something about the way the character looks it just gives off the impression to me that there's something about Stu that has happened already 23 years prior that relates to the creeper and now that the creeper is back he is wanting to get revenge for something that was done or done wrongly not if not to him a relative of his 23 years ago or this could be someone who actually ended up surviving the creeper from maybe you know what i'm just gonna throw this out there uh this might be a little insane what if Stu is the care one of the characters from the bus just honestly what if he's one of the characters from the bus now what i mean by that is of course they could always do this maybe you might find it a little bit convoluted and i won't blame you what if this is bucky all grown up for some reason and we learned that his name i guess wasn't bucky that was just a nickname that they gave him and his real name was actually Stu. i mean they could do that they could do something like that i'm just throwing that out there but something about Stu and the way peter brooks character appears just screams to me you know i have a history with this monster i want to take it out and somehow or another i get intertwined with these other people that it's now after all these years later something also tells me that maybe if not a taggart himself maybe Stu was in contact with the taggarts and also maybe trisha jenner and he came over to the taggart barn the creeper was not there but maybe he finds the taggarts dead and we learn over the course of the film as he's helping these kids that he was someone they hired to i guess take the creeper out cut it up and burn it disintegrate it and maybe he was happy to do the job since he was all, again i'm theorizing that he was someone who lost someone to the creeper all those years ago as a kid and now he's coming over to do this work for jack taggart and gina phillips character trish jenner he gets over there though and the creeper's gone taggart's dead he calls trisha 
Trisha tells him, you know, I'm on my way. He he can insist to Trisha, you know, I don't have time to wait for you. This thing is out there. I have to go to that Horror Hound Festival because that's probably where it's going to go since we have that festival that's happening in this area. And then that's how he ends up going to the Horror Hound Festival. He's tracking the creeper down. He finds out that it's attacking these kids. And he's basically taking on the Taggart role. He's taking on the Taggart role. He already had something in mind with this monster and taking it out. And he's tracking it down to take it out and also save the people who now find themselves intertwined with it that's just what i see happening there's a lot of different things that can happen with Stu. so we, Stu could be someone who is completely who is a completely new character that we've never met and just have some type of old connection to the creeper that of course we'll learn about because i do want to throw this out there the character of sergeant or officer sheriff tashtigo who we know was played by stan Stan Spree, I believe his name is. I might I might be saying his name wrong. The guy, the, the stuttering boxer from Harlem Knights. I might be saying his name name wrong. But uh he had a wife at one point for Jeepers Creepers 3. There's an audition listing where it said that, you know, Officer Tashtigo has lost his wife and he wants revenge on the creeper. That was what one of the audition listings were saying about the character of Officer Tashtigo that we know is from Jeepers Creepers 3. But we, we, of course, never got an angle like that in the finalized cut of the movie. We didn't even get to hear anything about a wife or anything. He just, for some reason, had a lot of bent, pent up aggression towards this thing. But it was never fully understood outside of just knowing, you know, he says what happened here happened before. I just don't want a repeat of that. You know, with all this anger and aggression that you had, why don't we get a personal story that relates to you and something this monster has done wrong to you? Uh, I just want I just don't want the same thing to happen with a character like Stu because again the way everything has been framed so far not framed but just the things that I've seen online my mind is telling me that Stu has some sort of dark history with the creeper as it relates to him taking a loved one of his or maybe him potentially being a victim himself almost at one point 23 years ago and ultimately escaping so who knows but we'll see how all these characters become intertwined with each other let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below how do you think they're all connected if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on the post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video